Welcome, Climb Viewers. This is Jim Lee from Climb Viewer News at ClimbViewer.com. And uh, we got some vindication slash confirmation from the mainstream media that 130 U.S. officials have been attacked on U.S. soil with directed energy weapons. Um, this is a huge um, change in the narrative. Um, because up to this point, if you were told to put your tinfoil hat on because you believed in people cookers, um, you know, there, there was not a lot to say about it. But we're going to go straight to some uh, mainstream media coverage of this, and I'm going to react to that. And we're going to get into the details behind it, a little bit of the history, and um, you'll be better armed for the microwave filled, you know, sonic weapon future. So, uh, if you could please smush that like button, uh, please subscribe, hit the alert bell. And, uh, in the comments, let me know, um, do you believe in these directed energy weapons, sonic weapons? Have you ever been targeted by one? Uh, let me know in the comments, all the links from the video you're about to watch will be, pinned at the top of the comment section of this video after it's complete. So you'll be able to follow along at home. Um, and you know, I appreciate everybody who, uh, supports this channel. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Uh, if you can support the channel by giving a donation, uh, you can give a one-time donation on cash app or PayPal, or you can support me monthly on PayPal. Everything I do is open source, free of charge, and I hope that you guys will use it. So enough about me. Let's get to the story. Here we go. Buckle your seatbelts. We are learning new details tonight about suspected directed energy microwave attacks targeting CIA officers and top national security officials. We first started hearing about them, and we told you about them here on Special Report in 2016, shortly after then-President Obama opened the embassy in Havana, Cuba. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon has the latest tonight about a suspected attack here at home. So we're going to get into the Havana Syndrome idea in just a little bit. Um, if you haven't heard about this term, Havana Syndrome, we're going to go all through that. Um, just keep on watching. U.S. officials say there are now 130 suspected victims, mostly CIA operatives and U.S. diplomats, being treated for brain injuries, debilitating headaches and vertigo, the targets they believe of a directed energy microwave weapon. There's a mysterious direct energy weapon that is being used, and it is causing, in some cases, permanent traumatic brain injury. New indications suggest the incidents go as far back as 1996. Two individuals working on the NSC believe they were targeted in 2019 and in 2020, just after the election. One was near the White House and one was walking her dog. And just so we're clear, it goes back way further than 1996. We can go all the way back to the Moscow signal which we will do in this video, but continue, please. The Russians have been working on mobile microwave weapons for years. We have to get more information and we got to tell the public what's going on. The U.S. Air Force and tech firm Epirus have developed a mobile high energy microwave weapon to bring down drones. Epirus is also working on a miniature variant of the weapon that can be easily transported on a pickup truck. This is the type of technology that might be targeting American diplomats. Russia certainly has the means and the motive to conduct these attacks. I mean, there's some, some evidence out there that certainly points to Vladimir Putin, the KGB operative in the Kremlin, being responsible. The only victim so far to come forward, former CIA head of the Europe desk, Mark Polymeropoulos, was targeted while visiting Moscow four years ago and forced to retire. It's pretty insidious because it also doesn't leave any kind of, you know, open open scars or, or, or wounds. Mark lobbied for treatment at Walter Reed's National Center for the Intrepid. As part of his therapy, he painted this mask of a Superman cape with a broken CIA shield with an arrow through it to symbolize the moral injury he felt when at first he was not believed by the CIA. Now, I want you to marinate on that for a moment. CIA operative goes to his, you know, higher up, says, I've been microwaved and they did not believe him. 
So it's not just it's not just us. I mean, literally, hey man, I work for the CIA. I've been freaking microwave. My brain is screwed up. Help me. And then to be called crazy, I can only imagine what that man must have felt like. The CIA is now taking the issue seriously, but without the actual weapon, U.S. officials don't know who to blame and how to stop these alleged attacks. Brett? And, and that's really where we're at. Without the weapon, they don't know who to blame. Right. So that's where we're really stuck at this thing. You know, um, made the news. This is dated uh, May 19th, 2021. Um, and they're, they're still kind of clueless on all of this. It's, it's very interesting that it's finally making the mainstream media um, but at the same time, it, it's kind of sad because this information has been out there for quite some time. I'm going to pop through um, some stuff really quickly. Uh, buckle up. So are U.S. officials under silent attack from the New Yorker? The Havana syndrome first affected spies and diplomats in Cuba. Now it's spread to the White House, May 24, 2021. Um, now I've covered all of these on uh, my article, Directed Energy Weapons 101, Sonic, Microwave, Laser, and Non-Lethal Warfare. Um, I hope that you guys will all check that out for certain, because this is my most lengthy article on the subject. And it, I go into all of the people cookers and the history of that. Um, and this you know, really stemmed back from Directed um, Energy Weapons on the Battlefield, A New Vision for 2025. And I have many different articles on directed energy weapons. Most people don't even know that I even talk about this subject because I talk so much about weather modification and uh, that sort of thing. But if you go through this article, what you'll see is that it really comes down to, you know, the, in my opinion, this U.S. patent best, you know, summarizes what's going on. Um and it says, as the Klingon battle cruiser attacks Starship Enterprise, Captain Kirk commands, fire the photon torpedoes. Two darts or blobs of light speed toward their target and destroy the enemy spaceship. Stardate 1989, Star Trek reruns, or 3189, somewhere in the intergalactic space. Fantasy or reality, the ability to launch localized packets of light or other energy which do not diverge as they travel great distances through space, may incredibly be at hand. So what are they talking about with these directed energy weapons? Electromagnetic missiles or bullets, bezel beams, transient beam fields, or splash pulses. Um, these are part of Maxwell equations, which are scalar wave equation solutions. And the, the proper term, which most people have never even heard of, it's called Electromagnetic Directed Energy Pulse Trains, or EDEPT. The acoustic version is called an ADEPT, an Acoustic Directed Energy Pulse Train. And it's the ability to localize or beam form, actually create a beam form to shoot electricity or acoustic energy as a weapon in a directed way. So to point it like a rifle and fire it at a target. Um, that's the point of all of this. Moving on, localized transmission of electromagnetic energy, Lawrence Livermore National Lab, um, on how to use a novel electromagnetic directed energy pulse train um, solution of the Maxwell equation. This is not just a patent. Um, there's a lot of research on this stuff. ADEPT and EDEPT. Um, then, of course, we have this uh, direct energy weapons, future strategic issues, future warfare circa 2025 um, by NASA scientists. And this slide in particular is really interesting. What is apparently legal? Microwave, radio frequency, anti-functional or ant and anti-personal weaponry. What do they mean by anti-functional? Your ability to function as a human being like your ability for your lungs or your heart to function or your brain to function. Chemical, chemical, chemical. We're going to skip all that. Psy war or psychological warfare, 
Um, and then down here at the bottom, acoustic weaponry. So those are the two that I mainly want to focus on in this. Microwave, radio frequency, weaponry, and acoustic weaponry. These are the types of things that are being described by the CIA agents that have been attacked recently. Also in um, Cuba, China, and Moscow. So uh, this is a uh, pretty crazy stuff, but it is just the you know the facts of the the, the matter. I mean, this is really here. Um, now, most people have probably this is also covered in here. Um, let me go back and skip this. Um, they have what's called the Directed Energy Profession Society (DEPS), which put out a brochure called the 2018 Directed Energy Educational Outreach Brochure. The United States leads the world in directed energy technology. And you can see that here, um, the PDF of it. And what I found really interesting is if you come down here, you can see all of the different manufacturers, which, you know, of course, I included right here for everybody to look at. So these are some Booz Allen Hamilton, you know, you, you know, most of the names, Northrop Grumman, Raytheon. Um, I've interviewed Raytheon, Lockheed Martin. They've got a whole directed energy page that you can check out. Um, silent sound spread spectrum. Also silent subliminal transmission systems. Amy, uh, I am watching the chat. Appreciate everybody in chat watching. Um, got a lot to go through. Going to go through it quickly. Um, but what's interesting is if you look at this picture right here, this is just in America. Now, I'm going to bring this up to a larger image real quick. One second. And I'm going to pull this over here. And I'm going to make it full screen. And we're going to scroll in. And you can see this is just how many people, how many different com companies are invested or working on directed energy weapons in America. Okay. And it's pretty impressive when you look at it. I mean, that's a lot of companies. This is in the PDF. Links are going to be in the um, there's Space War, Air Force Research Lab, you know, Air Force Research Lab Directed Energy Directorate is the main uh, Los Alamos, all the you know, all the big names that most you know people are in the know already know about, but a whole lot that aren't. Um, and this goes down to L3 communications. So you're you're watching this video right now on a L3 communications uh, broadband connection, by the way. Uh, at some point, you're going through one of those backbones. But regardless, a um, lot to see there. Promise I was going to make this a short video. Also on this uh, um, little slide right here, let me go back, is this little jewel. Uh, unclassified National Security Agency um, confirms that intelligence information from 2012 associated with hostile country, which Mr. Beck traveled in the 1990s, high powered microwave system weapon that may be, have the ability to weaken, intimidate, or kill an enemy over time without leaving evidence. Um, this is not your tinfoil hat conspiracy channel. This is your all the fags channel. Um, if you haven't already smushed that like button, I think you should do it about now. Please be sure to share because sharing is caring. And let's continue on with the video. Um, so back here on the direct energy page, the the, Mo the Moscow signal we're going to go into briefly. Um, the secret history of diplomats and invisible weapons, um, you know, dates back to 2017 on those. The active denial system. Now, um, riddle me this. This video has been pulled down. This will burn you alive. U.S. military active denial system videos been deleted from YouTube. But this is what it looks like um, for those who want to see it. Actually, in action, you can come over here and see a dis demonstration of the active denial system where basically you've got an angry mob of people. Go home, Go home, Go home, Go home, As you can see, the, the military, you get your pretend angry mob, um, and then you've got voice warnings going off, alarms going off saying, please leave the area. You know, basically, we're about to microwave your ass. 
Uh, watch this. As you can see, the effect of ADS immediately distracts the destructive impact of the activity. The ADS crew continues to engage the demonstrators, repelling them until the group moves away and is no longer a threat. Interesting stuff indeed. And 60 minutes to the cover on this as well. And poor fool no. tries to hold yeah. up like a shield. Oh. Engage. It this is what the actual I, it, targeting it, 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 screen going. looks like. Engage, engage. Uh, that's enough. <clears throat> Some people claim they've been able to stand in the beam for four or five seconds. So how long can I take the heat? Here goes. Engage. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Yeah, he didn't make it long. Um, <clears throat> now, riddle me this. So if they knew about the Capitol attack um, on January in January, if they knew about all of the protesters going to be there, if they knew they were going to attack the Capitol, um, if there weren't video of Capitol Police letting protesters in and telling them they were allowed to come in as long as they didn't harm anybody or destroy property, if they knew all this stuff, it would be very simple to set up LRADs, um, active denial systems. These microwave systems literally could have moved 100,000 people back in less than five seconds. This technology has been around for years. Simply putting up um, you know, these microwave systems around the Capitol would have instantly moved the entire crowd off that field in less than 10 seconds, they would have stampeded out of there. But that was not used and was not present. And that should be a big warning to all of you. So what am I talking about? You can come down here and see the rest of these. I'm going to scroll through it real quickly. The Bow 4 is HPM blackout. Solar-powered satellites. I'm not don't have my screen up. That's the Bow 4s um, microwave uh, weapon. Um the solar powered satellite idea of firing beams from space by collecting it in there, the thunderstorm solar powered satellite and uh, the porno scanner or mobile X-ray backscatter van that the FBI has where they can actually fire it all the way through your house. Um, laser weapons like project Excalibur orbital weapon systems. Um, all of these links are the Boeing YAL, which is discontinued. Uh, Zeus, uh, Helads, Miracle. Um, yeah, I, I really went the extra mile on this one. Uh, portable, efficient laser test bed. List goes on and on. Uh, that's uh, Captain Trump uh, saying, fire the harp. <laughs> I like that. I, I made my own little meme there. I'm a funny guy. Very funny guy. Um, but this is the one that I want you to guys to really look at. And then we're going to go through the history real quickly. This is from the Joint Non-Lethal Weapons Directorate. Okay. And for those who don't know, a lot of these weapons, which are directed energy weapons, are classified as non-lethal because just like in the movie, you know, in the Star Trek series, um, as long as the phasers are set to stun. They're not lethal, but at the same time that they're not, le they're classified as non-lethal weapons. They can turn the power up on them and become lethal. So these are, these are dual purpose weaponry. Um, yeah, no touch torture. The idea that you can literally use these for crowd and riot control, or you can turn them on max blast and fry somebody's brain and do permanent damage. So what are we talking about? This is what I was talking about for the Capitol riot, the acoustic hailing device or um, the, you know, obviously the active denial system, uh, photos, counter personal personnel, you know, intended targets, response times, descriptions, long range directed energy mounted on a vehicle. Um, and it shows like the heating effects on the body there, uh, all of that sort of thing. 
improved acoustic hailing device mounted on top of a Humvee could easily be mounted on a brick wall. Uh, would definitely back a crowd up like you wouldn't believe. Um, anticipated fielding physical year 12, 2012. So this was available in 2012. None at the Capitol. Um, and this is the continued one. Non-lethal unmanned aerial vehicle UAV with high-powered microwave payload. So same idea, but on a UAV, fly overhead. Um, radio frequency vessel stopper, um, conceptual John, joint non-lethal weapon directorate, a uh, boat that can microwave like uh, the fast boats that are running cocaine from Cuba to Florida and literally take out the engine. Um, airborne active denial system. This is on the side of a helicopter or the C-130 in, in the picture here. Um, laser-based flow modification, actually taking lasers to heat the air around the wings of another plane and then control it or steer it in the sky. Um, compact active denial technology. This is actually um, a hardware base. It's a, a you know, solid state active denial technology. Um, even more complicated, can hit multiple targets, you know, individual targets instead of just in a wide uh, range because it has be proper beam forming and a phased array um, antenna. And then, of course, you move on to all the laser stuff like ocular interruption. I've showed this many times on my channel with my green light laser. Um, you can use green lights to bl uh, blind people. Um, these green lasers are really effective in uh, temporarily blinding a target. Um, green laser inter interdiction system, glint, GLIS, and then the other one's GLINT. Um, and then they have the long range ocular interruption where they literally can place these on um, automated stands where they do just like a motion detected light in your backyard. They put it around a base. And if they detect somebody walking in the dark, it'll shoot them in the eyeball and blind the hell out of them. Um, dis distributed sound and light array, even more. Now you got a Blinking, strobing lights with laser beams, all automated, shooting you in the face and screaming at you and making all the noise. Um, nanosecond electrical pulses, tasers. Um, yeah, the, the tasers, that's a thing. There's the real one. Um, <laughs> you, you just can't make this up. Army deploys all-in-one non-lethal warfare kit. This is 2008. Um, so all of these directed energy weapons, definitely a thing. Um, and that's the lightning bolt arc, you know, kind of thing going on there. And of course, um, they've even got acoustic weapons that they can put underneath boats to knock out people, um, subsurface non-lethal engagement, impulse swimmer gun, you drop, just drop it underneath the boat and literally it'll knock a person out, crush their bones, crush their brain, all that stuff. En enhanced underwater loud hailer, e-loud. I could go on and on with these, but anyway, multi-frequency RF vehicle stopper, um, same idea, fries a truck as it's entering a base to stop it. Um, and, you know, automated versions of that as two, um, two. So moving on to sonic weapons, ultrasound and infrasound. So you can, your, your ears can, if you got good ears and they're still working properly, you can hear from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Anything under 20 hertz is infrasound. Anything above 20,000 hertz is ultrasound. So infrasound is like bass, you know, that subwoofer feeling where you can actually feel the effects of the subwoofer on your body. You may not even be able to hear it, but you can certainly still feel it. And ultrasound is like a dog whistle, like you can't hear it. Um, but it can still have biological effects on your body. And we can get into some of that as well. Sonic attacks in China and Cuba, how sound can be a weapon. Uh, what we know about the possible sonic attacks in Cuba now in China. Computer scientists may have solved the mystery behind the sonic attacks in Cuba. This is the Havana syndrome that we're going to be talking about. Sonic weapon health effects. I go on to talk about that. Acoustic trauma, bio effects of sound. Noise is violence, it disturbs. To make noise is to interrupt a transmission, to disconnect, to kill. 
Um, and then we go into all of the effects of infrasound all the way up to ultrasound. And it says things like, um, you know, uh, affects slight equilibrium disturbance, uh, tickling in the mouth, heating, um, you know, lung rupture and death, blast wave, ear pain, post you know, you know, traumatic stress from short term exposure, eardrum rupture, transient vestibular effects and respiratory organs. And these are the frequencies. Um, so, yeah, all of this stuff has been well known for a long time. I've been covering this since earlier than 2012. And you can look at this infrasound may affect labyrinths, vertigo, vertigo imbalance, resonance in the inner organs, e.g. heart with effects up to death. Um, targets, riot control. Uh, infrasound for nonlinear superposition and two ultrasound beams, intolerable sensations, riot control. Infrasound, incapacitation, disorientation, nausea, vomiting, bowel spasms, Effect ceases when generators turned off, no lingering physical damage uh, for crowd riot control, psychological operations, uh, VLF, very low frequency noise, disorientation, vomiting fits, bowel spasms, uncontrolled defecation. You literally poop yourself. Um, now, I could go all the way to the bottom of this, and this last thing is called the sonic weapon of Vladimir Gavro. And uh, if you really want to have the the crap scared out of you i suggest you read this whole story about how the military got involved in a organ factory by organ i mean like the organ in your church um and they they basically realized that um a lot of the workers were getting sick from the the organs uh when they hit a certain tone but this this one paragraph really sums it all up the findings of dr gavro in the infrasonic range between one and 10 cycles per second, one to 10 Hertz are truly shocking. Lethal infrasonic pitch lies in the seven cycle range, seven Hertz. Small amplitude increases affect human behavior in this pitch range. Intellectual activity is at first inhibited, blocked, and then destroyed. As the amplitude is increased, several disconcerting responses have been noted. These responses begin to as complete neurological interference. The action of the medulla is physiologically blocked. Its autonomic, autonomic functions cease. Well, let me put this into perspective for everybody playing along at home very quickly. Um... Intellectual activity is inhibited, blocked, and then destroyed. That the medulla oblongata, which controls your heart, your lungs, all of the automatic functions of your body that you don't have to think about that keep you alive, that in the seven hertz range cease to exist. That with either high powered um, radio frequency, pumping seven hertz into you or infrasonic weapons pumping a seven hertz signal out that you can shut down the medulla oblongata of a person, shut down their entire brain, stop their heart and their breathing. They will die and there will be no physical um, evidence to prove otherwise. These are the facts. So let's move along quickly and I'm going to just rip through the rest of this. Um, cause it's, it's truly amazing to me that most people don't know about this stuff and, and it's right out there in the open. You can go to the small business, uh, website for the government, um, depart agency, department of defense, remote personal incapacitation system from the Navy year awarded 2003, um, by wave band corporation looking for people to help out. And uh, I love this line right here. It just really uh, tickled me. Um, so I'm going to blow it up nice and big for you guys. Hopefully you can see that. All right, there we go. Low probability of fatalities or permanent injuries from this uh, weapon. That's what they're shooting for. Just a low probability. You know, you might die, 
but we really just want to be able to, you know, fry people, you know, make people cookers, um, enjoy. So moving along, this started a long time ago with the Moscow signal. It was the original, um, you know, problem, uh, that, that brought all this to the attention of people. And, uh, basically people at the U S embassy in Moscow were, you know, getting sick and they believed that either some audio or radio frequency signal was the cause of it. And that was called the Moscow signal. Okay. And this happened between from 1953 through 1976. Soviet sources repeatedly irradiated the American embassy in micro in Moscow with low level microwaves for unknown reasons. Okay. 1953 to 1976. Right there. And that was called the Moscow signal. Now, the Russians have always been ahead of America and the rest of the world in the use of directed energy weapons because, and in addition to that, HARP technology, ionospheric heaters, because they studied Tesla's work intimately and worked very hard on it very early on and we've been kept playing catch up ever since um and the moscow signal epidemiological study 40 years on all these links are going to be in the detail the havana syndrome on wikipedia kind of gives you a you know synopsis of all of this stuff so that you can kind of catch up on the overview uh I never totally trust wikipedia but it's good for a primer to get you started um were U.S. diplomats attacked in Cuba? Brain study deepens mystery. New York Times. Um, and the study from that, this is published uh, June uh, 20, July 23rd, 2019. Neuroimaging findings in the U.S. government personnel with possible exposure to directional phenomena <laughs> in Havana, Cuba. So... This is actually, you know, CAD scans and that sort of thing of people who were microwaved or hit with, um, you know, infrasonic weapons, ultrasonic weapons in Havana, Cuba. So instead of directional phenomena, we're going to insert directed energy weapons. But that's the actual scientific um, study report, full report on the Havana syndrome uh, Cuba incident. And of course, you know, Wherever there's um, smoke, there's a fire, and wherever there's a debunk, you know you got some. You're on to something. Claims of microwave attacks are scientifically implausible by foreignpolicy.com. Typical. Uh, there's little evidence for an unknown weapon being behind the Havana syndrome. Uh, good job, Cheryl, for towing the line of the New World Order. Um, I hate your guts. Um, New report assesses illness among U.S. government personnel and their families at overseas embassies, National Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine, December 5th, 2020. Um, you know, talking about everything, symptoms such as loud noise, ear pain, intense pressure or vibration, dizziness, visual problems, and cognitive dif difficulties. Um, and many still continue to experience these or other health problems. Directed energy weapons are a real thing, are being taken seriously for the first time in public. Oh, and by the way, they're going to talk about UFOs next month. I mean, could it get any freaking weirder? Like, everything just gets weirder and weirder. So from my climateviewer.com slash heart page, um, you can see that right there, harp in the sky heaters. Um they talked about this also, and they said infrasound could be used tactically as extremely low frequency waves endure for great distances, and it could be used in conjunction with media broadcasts as well. That embedding ultra low frequency, extremely low frequency signals into your mainstream media or your favorite TV show could be used to cause physiological disorders or emotional distortion, mind control. And the Russian government went so far as to say that HARP um, 
could be used to uh, control the brains of entire populated, have a negative impact on the mental health of populating entire regions. Um, that's the Russian government who, you know, is real big on microwave directed energy weapons saying, hey, HARP could be a mind control weapon and we don't like it because it's stronger than the one we have at Sura. Um, on that note, you can see all of those locations on Climate Viewer 3D uh, on this map right here. Um, and these are all of the different high powered, ultra low frequency, extremely low frequency, very low frequency transmitters in the multi millions of watts. In addition to lasers from all over the world, um, you can see all the different laser towers, directed energy weapons everywhere in the world. Um, and then over here, we have the Doppler radars in green, the joint um, surveillance system in red, um, all the different ones, all the good things, uh, the super dual auroral radar network, GWIN stations, uh, ground wave emergency network, all in one map. Um, link's going to be in the details. All of these maps are currently loaded right here on the sidebar. Um, so you can check those out at a later date. Um, over the horizon, B, off B, radar, um, things like that, all the way up to and including the really powerful ones like the ANFPS 85, which is 32 million watts. Um, really, 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 really powerful microwaves. Um, but that really begs the question, who, you know, who's, who's winning the war on this thing? So I found this on Defense News. Defense News is always pretty damn accurate. Um, hypersonic and directed energy weapons. Who has them and who's winning the race in Asia Pacific? Now, of course, this is specific to the Asia Pacific, which leaves out Russia, Europe, the rest of the freaking world. But um, I found this pretty darn interesting. I think you will, too. We're not going to talk about hypersonic weapons in this video. These are basically just, you know, Mach 5 plus rockets and stuff like that. Um, also something to be concerned about when World War III runs around. But, you know, for the purposes of this video, we're going to leave that out. But you guys might find this very interesting. China has also made efforts in developing directed energy weapons this, with state and manufacturers releasing images and videos of handheld and vehicle mounted laser systems. These include handheld destructive laser weapon offered for domestic law enforcement, ostensibly crowd control. Although its designers say when set to maximum power, the laser can instantly scar human skin and tissue. It can also reportedly ignite clothing, knock a small drone out of the sky, or blow up a fuel tank. One Chinese academic has claimed that the PLA used microwave weapons to incapacitate Indian troops during last year's standoff over part of the two countries' disputed border. So that's the Chinese government using their phaser blasters on the Indian troops. That's not feathers. Um, and that is hopefully still right here on the picture. That's the weapon. That is the Chinese guard holding the handheld directed energy weapon in the pic in the cover photo for my video that I did on directed energy weapons 101. Um, so that's a real thing, a real concern. And uh, like I said, I've been covering this. This is my old blog before climateviewer.com. This is David dated April 5th, 2012. Um, back when I was just resonated. And then I finally put Jim Lee on there and told everybody my real name and all that Russian president wields zombie apocalypse weapon. Um, the United States of non-lethal warfare. Nobody does weather warfare and riot control like we do. Um, I'm a bit of a jokester. Um, anyway, Russians test a gun that turns people into zombies. April 9, 2012. Zombies, people. I just tied acoustic, radio frequency, directed energy weapons, and freaking zombies together. Give it up for your man. All right, so 
Now that you've uh, been informed on all this stuff, you might want to know what you can do about it um, because it's kind of a big deal. Um, and the sad part is that, you know, all of this has been going on for so long that most people don't know anything about any of this stuff, which is kind of mind blowing to me. Um, but, you know, hey, you, you, you deal with what you can, you know, um, let me find one thing real quick that right here and come down here and bam which brings us back to jack anderson the race for star wars weapons um these are star wars weapons so this was uh 1981 he was trying to figure out who's in the lead russia or america and he says overall the u.s and russia High energy laser programs are roughly equal at present time. Um, the secret report says, although the U.S. is believed to have an advantage in the pointing, tracking, optics, and control technologies, the Russians appear to be ahead in short pulse lasers and electrical discharge lasers, which could be useful for military applications in the atmosphere. But as far as... Awesome as as for the awesome particle beam weapons, the report says the Soviet Union is believed to have had a research and development effort underway for possibly 20 years. This is 1981, so they're talking back to 1961, back to the Moscow signal. This is Jack Anderson, reporter of the century. Um, and of course, he says charged particle beam devices or CPBs represent a new phase that in the historical development of technology, the study reports when perfected, these controlled lightning bolts can solve a wide range of scientific and industrial problems. Uh, but adds ominously Soviet work on charged particle beams is strong in exactly those areas needed for weapons application. Whereas U S work on Work to date has not been pointed towards military applications. The report continues. It is believed that the Soviets are ahead of the United States and many other of the particle beam weapon technologies and that the present Soviet level of effort should permit them to continue to advance in these technolo technology areas at a rapid rate. This is 1981 and this is Jack Anderson warning that the Kremlin and the Soviets are way ahead of us on directed energy weapons. And for some reason, this article, which was in the Washington Post, is now on the CIA reading room. So I don't know how a newspaper article becomes then classified and then declassified in part, sanitized copy approved for release 2012. Um, so it was in the newspaper, taken out of the newspaper. I don't know how you do that. Um, and then dumped down the memory hole and then re-released in the CIA reading room, possibly with redactions. But regardless, this was Jack Anderson in 1981 warning about directed energy weapons. Um, so you're probably now asking yourself, what can I do about this? Um, it's the number one question I get from people who believe that they are targeted individuals. Um, clearly somebody needs to design something that will test not only for power density, but frequency range. So in order to deal with ultrasonic, infrasonic, and oh microwave weaponry, you would need something portable that has an audible alarm on it that can say, you are currently experiencing a specific absorption rate an SAR um, of more than 10 watts per square centimeter. Or you are currently experiencing, you know, uh, a dB gain, a decibel range of, you know, one to 20 hertz um, signals that's in excess of, you know, whatever range they determine to be, you know, detrimental to your health. So in, in short, Somebody, especially if you're in the CIA, and I know you're watching this video, um, 
I don't understand why somebody has not designed something that would alarm you or alert you because you can't run around in a Faraday cage suit. Okay. Um, there are suits that can stop, protect you from a taser, um, you know, like getting directly hit with something like that. But at the very least, there should be an alert system so that you can know, hey, I'm currently being microwaved. I'm currently being hit with an ultrasound or infrasound weapon um, and that it's portable and it's just a sensor. You know, it vibrates and makes an audible noise right. when you're getting nailed. Um, that'd be great, but let's have some fun with some ideas and then wrap this video up. Um, because I just particularly like this one. Uh, this is called the vagabond mobile safe house device. And it's literally like a backpack you can fit on there and it's for the zombie apocalypse. Cause as we just previously mentioned, you know, the Russians will, um, have guns that turn people into zombies. So if directed energy weapons can turn people into zombies, then zombie preparedness is now a legitimate issue. So I want you all to get your zombie preparedness on. Um, think about things like this, uh, the Vagabond mobile defense system, where you could literally just, you know, whip this backpack off. This is, of course, right. not a real thing, but it would be really cool if it was. And, you know, like a roly poly, roll out your shell. And this shell could also be like a Faraday cage which could protect you from microwaves and all of that sort of thing. In addition to being bulletproof, bomb proof and zombie proof, that'd be great. Um, and you know, the CDC has gotten a lot of crap lately, uh, for their terrible, um, you know, um, I'm not I promised. I wouldn't cuss, uh, for their terrible messaging on the coronavirus. but you might want to go over to the CDC and read their zombie preparedness, um, you know, uh, fact here and get prepared for zombies because, um, the world is already full of freaking zombies and they are the idiots walking around completely clueless, not interested in videos like this. Um, and even if you were to lay out all of the evidence I have in this video for you today, they would never believe it. Um, so, to all you uh, truly woke individuals from flyover country, middle America, or uh, people like myself in South Kakalaki, um, I appreciate you guys sticking it out all the way to the end of this video. Um, you guys are the extra special ones. Most people don't have an attention span uh, longer than my pinky finger right here. Um, so thank you so much to everybody who supported my channel who actually cares about the facts, want to hear the whole story, can put up with this Southerner taking so long to explain all these things because I believe it all matters. Um, I don't I don't believe that, you know, stuffing everything into a well-edited, very short 10-minute video is ever going to do justice to a topic so large and so important to all of us. I'm having a directed energy attack by a little baby. What are you doing? Yeah. Emma, what are you doing? Say hi. Come here. What am I talking to? I'm talking to the whole internets right now. Emma, internets. Internet, Emma. See the camera right there? Say hi. You say hi. Hi. So, for those who don't know, this is my littlest one. My other one's 11 years old and she's a orange belt in mixed martial arts. And, uh, isn't, you know, diving into my video, Caroline, come here, Caroline, come here. I'm wrapping up my video. Huh? Get in here. Yeah. Come here. Okay. You're clothed, right? Yes, I am clothed. <laughs> Hello. So these these are my girls, and these are why I do what I do because I, you know they can't see you. You can see that they can't see you, and you're beautiful. You're you get your beautiful <laughs> self over here. Emma's just digging it. Emma's a natural. See, she wants. All right, so y'all can subscribe to Emma very soon because um, she's apparently really interested. Yeah. This is where you look. They. So you're looking at yourself over there, but this is where you actually look. Um, 
But these are these these two little creatures are the reason why I do what I do. And I am very blessed. And I appreciate everybody Everybody who's supported my channel. There I of course they're saying (laughs) hi to you. They already said hi to Emma. So apparently my set has been invaded. Yes. And um they have been they're they're normally very good about, you know, hiding in the bedroom or whatever, but I've been working diligently on my backyard so they have a place. You don't you don't you're not like, even like hiding. Potter. You're literally like YouTubing it out while I'm doing this. So don't even act like you're in pain. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope that this uh put a, a a smiley note on the end of such a creepy video about microwaves and everything. And um, like I said, thank you so much to everybody who supported the channel over the years. Mm-hmm. Um, I've got to, you know, spend my time keeping these two in check, teaching them all of the the right ways to live in this cruel world and, uh, play some video games with my daughter after we're done here. Tickle this one every (laughs) chance I get. And, uh, you guys, I appreciate you share the video with information comes power and with the power comes great responsibility. So please remember to use this video and certainly not any directed energy weapons, to attack ideas, not people. Say bye. Say subscribe. Subscribe to my daddy needs it. And smush the like button. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to climateviewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.